This is the Random Hockey Show, taking a closer look at the culture of the fastest sport on ice. Brought to you by Edge Advantage, Negative Ion Bracelet, Balance, Strength, Flexibility. If you don't have it, they will. Here's your host. This is the Random Hockey Show, and I'm your host, Danielle Fernandez. We are here in Ottawa, Ontario. Ottawa, of course, being the capital city of Canada and the host of this year's NHL all-star game. We are hanging out in the Fairmont Chateau Laurier. Fairmont hosting lots of events and hockey related activities this weekend. So, Jer McNamee, the president of Gong Show Gear, thanks for your time. Hey, nice to be here. All right, so hockey, hockey lifestyle brand. Right. What inspired you to launch this business? Yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, playing junior hockey in Canada it was just, you know, something that we really felt like there was a strong lifestyle off the ice. And, uh, you know, there's, there's no real clothing brand that, that really represented hockey players and we thought we could kind of, you know, put that camaraderie of the guys and the, and the great culture of hockey players off the ice and, and put that in a clothing line and uh, here we are. So you mentioned off the ice and the name is Gong Show. So one plus one equals, is the name self-explanatory? When we started, we looked for a brand name. We were looking for something that, that really kind of hockey players used a lot. And, you know, when we were playing junior, it was something that, that we use all the time. You know, it could have been a big fight on the ice or it could have been a, you know, maybe a late night party the night before. And uh, it just seemed like, you know, whenever we used it, that anybody that wasn't a hockey player didn't know what it meant. And when they'd ask us, we'd say, don't worry about it. Hanging out in the fourth period gifting suite with president and editor-in-chief, Dave Panayota. How's it going, Dave? I'm doing great. You pronounced my name excellently, by the way. Um, so that makes me so happy. It, it makes me happy that you'll take the effort to know my name properly. Yeah, you know, A for effort. That's, that's all I can do here, ladies and gentlemen. I implore you. Okay, so Dave, this is your gifting suite. Yep. This is your business. Tell me about it. Well, it's a trickle effect of, of the business of the magazine and whatnot, but, you know, top NHL um, events, we come in there and we just give millionaires free swag. That's, that's what we do. We provide uh, them with some great free product, with some great, uh, some, from some great brands, Gong Show, Le Chateau, uh, Red Bull, Gillette, and, and everything back there as well. So I feel like the opposite of Robin Hood then. Yes. Gotcha. Exactly. Great. We, we give from the rich and give to the rich. Right. Which... Whatever. It is what it is, but the guys love it. We have a great time with it. It, it allows us to expand our, um, our, our reach to the NHL players, and uh, it's a great way to uh, get to know them and, and adds to the content for the magazine. Okay, and so you're a fairly young company, uh, three years old, but you've established a huge following via social media, Twitter, Facebook. Your website is getting an astounding amount of hits <laughs> per month, really. Thank you. What do you think it is? You found your niche. Yeah, we, we've kind of combo the, the inside info, the rumors and the trade analysis and that sort of thing with the whole lifestyle angle that supports the NHL. These hockey players are the most down to earth, genuine athletes in the world. And we have the ability to exploit that, really to exploit it in, in a positive light and in the right light. Um, getting to know the guys on a one-to-one -one level is something that it's difficult for athletes and us being able to take the helmets off the players and show their face to everybody and show who they really are, that's what we're really all about. And it seems that uh, a lot of people really like that. Now, word on the street is that sometimes you have the upper hand and know which trades are going to happen before. Is there a percentage of when you're right and when you're wrong? And be honest with me. Uh, probably more so wrong than right, only because things never come to fruition and, and they don't happen. But um, we've, we've been pretty good, especially with trade deadline coming up and free agency and whatnot. We've been lucky. And it's not just me. We've got an excellent staff that, that uh, supports every angle. So we've been, we've been very fortunate to, to be able to do that. Now, besides the gifting suite, here at the Fairmont Chateau Laurier. Yes. What else do you have going on this weekend? What are you most looking forward to? Uh, I'm most looking forward to this being over so I can sleep for the first time in a couple of weeks. Okay. But uh, over here, absolutely. Um, tonight, we're actually doing the players' welcoming party, which is going to be really awesome. Uh, really looking forward to that. And then we're doing our after party with uh, Drake on, uh, on Sunday after the festivities are done. So we're really pumped about that, too. Those are some names you just dropped there, Dave. Well played. Thank you. Well, you know, I try a little bit. Just <laughs> All right, well, my last question is, where do you see the brand going in the next few years? Uh, well, we're, we're kind of migrating to bi-monthly. Uh, we were a quarterly mag, so we're getting it to bi-monthly. So we're going to expand on that and, and just keep going. The sky's the limit. Um, we're just enjoying the ride. All right, well, thank you very much for your time. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure was all mine. And, and the All-Star Game is coming up this weekend. What are you most excited about? Uh, fastest skater. All right, here with E. Jazz, who's from Ottawa slash Cornwall. What's your favorite skills competition? Uh, I like the the shooting competition. 
Yeah. The slap shot, sorry. The hardest slap shot. Okay. Yeah. Who, do you think uh, Char is going to take it again? Um, Spezza had a pretty good shot in, in the Ottawa skills competition, but yeah, I think Chara will take it this year again. I think he might be a little biased with his love <laughs> of the Senators there. Yeah, see if somebody can beat Mike Gartner's record. It's been around for a long time. What are you most looking forward to? Which player to watch? Mostly the Canucks, of course. The Sedins, Edler and Cody Hodgson. I'm just glad they're here. Here with City Councillor Matthew Fleury. How are you doing today? Very good, yourself? Or bonjour, comment ça va? Très bien. Ah, very good. Okay, so now you're obviously sporting your Ottawa Senators jersey. It looks great, by the way. Thank you. Are you excited about the All-Star game here in Ottawa? I am. Last night we opened the Rink of Dreams. It was a, a fantastic event. And today we have great ice on the canal and lo lots of event, v events happening this weekend. So you're, you know, you follow it. Skills competition. Which category is your favorite to watch? I have to admit the speed, s skating around the ice, uh, fastest speed are pretty good, and I hope uh, our local talent, Carlson, will be uh, in uh, do it, competing in that event. That wraps up another edition of the Random Hockey Show coming to you from Ottawa, Ontario. We know the league has uh, tried to generate a lot of buzz surrounding the All-Star game, and I can honestly say I really feel like they've succeeded. The city of Ottawa has definitely embraced it from the fan balloting to the new draft format and the procession of trophies on the canal. Definitely a great hockey town and looking forward to more events for the All-Star weekend. Let's cheers to the greatest game on earth, to hockey. You've been watching the Random Hockey Show, taking a closer look at the culture of the fastest sport on ice. Brought to you by Edge Advantage, Negative Ion Bracelet, Balance, Strength, Flexibility. If you don't have it, they will.